Let me see. Don't throw my head too much. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It is another wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. Shout out to Wine and Wigs Day, showing up and showing out with a brand new wig every single week, hello. Before we get into that, I wanna ask y'all first, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. It's the day after Thanksgiving or Turkey Day or whatever you like to call this. Hopefully you ate well, hopefully you had a good time. If you were at home, hopefully you enjoyed your day off. That's all. For me, today is Turkey Day Girl and we got the food in the oven or we ready to eat, okay? But in the meantime, in between time, we're gonna get into some her. We're gonna get into some scalps, okay? Oh. Also, can y'all tell me what you're drinking? I'm drinking a tea with some protein milk. Y'all let me know what you're drinking, but I'm about to have a cocktail. I cannot wait. Why y'all tell me what you're drinking? Could you also hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs, a brand new attitude, girl, and a brand new bag because you know I'm gonna beg you next week. So you might as well come back to hear it. Now let's go ahead and get into this hair. Can y'all believe this wig is glueless? Can you see it? Can you tell that it's glues? Can you tell that it's a closure wig? For somebody that ain't got it, it's just for a living, I'm living for this. Like this is, this is giving what it's supposed to have gay. But look, look, I would go all the way down, but these baby hairs are stuck to my forehead like it's a fly trap, so I'm not going up under the baby hairs, but look. I wanna say thank you to Curly Me for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video because this wig is, it definitely is a new innovation. And I'm not playing with y'all, cause y'all know I be like, okay, you girls be over here trying to release new wigs, using all types of words, but this one, I said, oh, y'all was on to something. Now this wig on my head is a new technology called the M-Cap wig. This is a nine by six M-Cap wear and go glueless wig. Nine inches across, six inches parting space back. It's 18 inches long with 180% density. It is in the kinky curly texture. It comes with invisible HD lace. What gets special about this MCAP wig is when you pop the hood on this wig, you can see, like I said, it comes with a nine by six closure, but it also comes with removable combs on the inside. I say, girl, so we ain't gotta bring these scissors out to chop these things off because I feel like we be chopping down trees. It's not that much, but you know what I'm saying? It be extra labor and I'll be feeling like doing that. It comes with three removable combs, so two tiny combs on the side and one comb in the back. It also comes with a piano key elastic band, a removable piano key elastic band with the silicone attached so it's able to attach to your head. As far as the MCAP wig and that technology, the claims are this wig comes with pre-bleached knots pre-cut lace, really, really small, teeny tiny knots that you're not supposed to be able to see with the naked eye, girl. What else, girl? They gave us a little booklet, hold on. And this wig features a C-shaped ear design so you can tuck it behind the ear. Baby, I didn't know how much I needed this in my life. Look, girl, tuck this thing behind the ear because the way I be walking out here featuring a wig cap over my ear, girl. <laughs> This MCAP wig comes with a special design that is supposed to be designed for beginners to wear so you don't have to do a lot of customization. It's already pre-done for you. The goal for the MCAP design is for you to be able to pop this thing on and go. Now, I be having questions because I'm like, can, it, can you really pop it on and go? Does it stay attached to your head? Do you have to do a lot to it? Can you wear it in versatile styles? Are the knots actually pre-plugged? Are they actually pre-bleached? What's going on? I like to get into all of that. So we're gonna go ahead and test all of that out. I'm gonna let y'all know what this wig is like from the rooter to the tutor when you pull her out of the box. But we're gonna go through every single point. Is it really everything that it says that she is? Because sometimes the girls be claiming what they are and they just, they be lying. If you wanna see everything that I did to get this wig to look more like this and you wanna see the more versatile styles that you can get out of this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts pros and cons, and the coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the base because we're about to throw this wig on. This wig is supposed to be quick, simple, and easy. So we're gonna use our wig grip and then pop on our wig cap over it and then that's it. Okay, we're gonna throw this on. Throw on the wig cap. 
it's not too shabby okay and i like to push my wig cap back a little bit so next we're gonna go ahead and try on the wig i'm not gonna lie to y'all i already tried on this wig before because i was a little nervous because some of these wigs the lace be down here okay let's pop it on Ooh, okay oh it's comfortable on my head girl it fits behind the ears get out of town you see it has like a little c shape there so i can just pop it behind the ear babes oh and it's comfortable it doesn't hurt i'm feeling it the m cap design is nice and the parting space is really really good it stops right back there can y'all see it girl my head was about to hit the table i had to tighten the elastic band but baby this is looking good and if i wanted to and i wanted the extra security we could use these little combs and pop it right there the lace is a little bit bright it blends into the skin but like not really like you can see it like when i do this you can see it and that's not what i want so i'm gonna tint the lace first flatten the hairline second and then moustiana last and then baby we're done anything that i mentioned from amazon hello anything that i mentioned from amazon is an affiliate code so but this is the dola hair lace tint mousse in the color medium brown i love using this on my lace and i'm telling you it is a little bit orange it's on the orange side but you can calm it down a little bit. Just don't use so much. Don't be like me, okay? Face tint, mousse, as well as a brush, and I apply it to the lace. So what we're gonna do is take the wig off. Ow. So we're gonna turn the wig inside out. I'm gonna go ahead and take my mousse, and I'm just gonna apply it to To the hairline girl i just zoned out <laughs> so i like to concentrate the color onto the front so i need to do like a little line i just hope it doesn't make the lace too deep but i guess we'll see wrong hand girl i'm left-handed i always forget what hand i can use so i'm gonna add the mousse and just spread it all the way around you'll see the color start to process because the color actually processes and i also am gonna go over top of the lace as well so we make sure we get really good color and i like to go on the edges like right on the edges so the color really saturates because i want to wear this with glueless baby and i want to wear it glueless with makeup you know how makeup be changing up the whole thing okay now that the mousse is added all over the hair or all over the lace we can go ahead and dry it down and let that color process i am praying that i did not make this too dark because i kind of did a little bit <laughs> Let me I'm gonna take my Dyson blow dryer with the diffuser so we don't have the hair blowing all the way around and I'm gonna blow dry it on high and warm to set the color. So it has been blow dried and it should be pretty dry. Now we're gonna plop it back on and I wanna see if this lace tint made as much of a difference as I think it should. But y'all know why I love lace tint. It just doesn't add any texture. So let's see if it blends right into the skin. Hold on, hold on. what now for real where's the lace you can't oh there it is it's right there <laughs> it blends right into the skin didn't i tell y'all that lace tint is the go now let's go ahead and get to styling that elastic band keeps popping off that's the only thing the elastic band is a little bit loose in there we need that thing to be tight because she popped off like two or three times that looks great okay so i'm gonna pull this back and we're just gonna go ahead and flatten the hairline a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of a little wax stick i'm gonna use my wax stick this is the she is bomb wax stick i'm gonna plop this onto the hairline and then flatten it with my little hot comb i'm gonna go ahead and use my red by kiss hot comb hold on let me turn her on because girl they ain't gonna do nothing turn her up to the hottest hot okay fried turkey hot <laughs> push this on out now this is from amazon as well I like using this wax stick, but a wax stick's a wax stick, girl. If you can find some beeswax somewhere, I think it's about the same. I need to be careful, because sometimes the lace starts to crease when you be doing too much, and I'm not trying to do too much. So I'm gonna take the hot comb, and I'm just gonna run it through there real quick. Not to, gently, so I don't bend. I don't know why I said gently, so aggressive. I'm 
gonna take the back of the red by kiss hot comb there's like this these mini ridges that help flatten it real real, real good it ain't going nowhere friend now let's put it back now i want to see what it look like y'all be acting like i'm doing i be doing something and i you can't tell me i'm not <laughs> okay that hairline is hairline i don't care what nobody say i really don't because i don't that looks amazing look at that hairline girl are we almost done this is crazy now next we need to go ahead okay y'all don't say nothing to me i'm gonna leave the hairline alone and we're gonna add the mousse to the hair first and we'll do the hairline last so let's go ahead and get into the hair i need to just cut it just a little bit not too much like not too much i just want to get a little bit of shape to it because this is what the hair looks like it, the curls are really really soft the ends oh they're soft wait I'm not feeling a lot of dryness. I'm feeling some catching, but girl, these ends are really soft. Shout out to the curly me. First, I take the hair on the bottom and I pull it around and I pull it into one ponytail in the front. It's getting cold outside. <laughs> it's cold outside. <laughs> are you freezing? No. <laughs> are you? Girl, it is really warm. Y'all need to get you one of these. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim the bottom. Obviously, it's not going to be perfectly even across, but this is what we got. Boom. Now for the front, y'all know how I do my layering. I do this little triangle situation. Is it even? I need to add a little bit more hair on this side. I make sure it's kind of like a triangle sort of section. Is this right? Girl, what's, what is this? Is that even a triangle? Girl, that is a rhombus. <laughs> it's a rhombus. And I'm just going to cut. First cut is gonna be this much off. I'm just gonna point cut into it. I usually don't point cut into my curly hair, but why not? I don't want this to have a blunt look either. So I'm gonna take a second triangle. Okay, so we got the second triangle and I'm gonna cut off like, I would say like an inch. This hair is so soft. Okay, we cut off an inch. Point cutting is just when I, you take the point. Girl, I don't know. What is point cutting? Y'all let me know, because i just seen it. It's when you take the tip of your scissors and you go like this. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna do it one more time. Take it, cut it one more again. Okay, and I'm gonna cut like it. an inch, half an inch. How much am I cutting off? I don't know. Okay, and I'm gonna take it. And then point cut once again. So it's just not so blunt. Okay. Boom. Hairline still together. Wow. And I feel like we got more. Y'all see what I'm talking about? It's more body. Full. Part out the sides. And I'm going to use that top hair as a guide that I just cut. And I'm just going to cut and layer downwards so it's not like choppy. So take this. And I'm gonna take the back, this half of the back and do the same thing. I rarely do it in the back, but it's, it's looking a little bit choppy. So I'm just gonna do it one more time, just to round it out a little bit. Girl, it's better already, like, what <laughs> let's do the other side i'm gonna take the section we just did and i just part like behind my ear i ain't show y'all where i parted and then i just cut it once again <laughs> This is what the hair looks like. Ooh. This is after it's all cut and fluffed. No mousse. Like, this looks good without mousse. I'm gonna take my hot comb and I'm gonna go into this part because I noticed that it's a little bit height. Oh, I usually don't go in it with a comb, but I can fix that with some mousse. That's a hyped up part, girl. Okay. You see what this looks like? Girl, literally, we could be done. Like, I'm not even playing with y'all. We could be done. Like, look how 
this looks. Let me see what it looks like as a side part. Girl. Oh, the side part is eating. Oh, I could be any girl in the world. This is without mousse, but when this mousse hits it, oh, y'all ain't gonna be able to, <laughs> y'all not gonna be able to stand me, okay? I know some of the girls be like, oh my God, you can pull the wig out of the box. Oh my God, you can just, you don't have to do nothing to it. Put some mousse on your curly hair, okay? Do it, I promise you, you gonna thank me later. The mousse that I like to use is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Granted, you could leave this wig like this. I feel like it looks good, but if you want them juicy, juicy curls, get you some of this curl mousse and add it to it. Get you a brush, a comb, a detangler, whatever you got, but the one I like to use, and I've had this for five years, I'm not buying a whole bunch of combs. This is the Evolve 572 brush. You put these two together, it's magic, girl, kaboom. Or at least this sort of magic. You know what I'm saying? It's giving that. Baby, the painting is still on the brush. This is such a well-made brush. It's great for curly hair. Um, and it takes that machine curl look away from your hair. It looks more like natural curls. So, and that's what we like over here. So I'm gonna section away some hair and I'm gonna work in sections. Now I'm not gonna do too much. I always say that. Sometimes I get carried away when the mousse is in my hand, girl. I get carried away, you can't stop me. I'm gonna take this section of hair. And if you see the wig lifting up, girl, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. I wanna see how secure this wig is. Hold on. Hold on, I'm about to take all this down. I wanna see how secure it is. Cause I got this elastic band and these combs in here and it's glueless. I wanna see how secure this wig is. Hold on. I'm gonna clip the two tiny removable combs at the side and I'm gonna clip the one in the back. I'm gonna slide it in under my wig grip. Let me see. Don't throw my head too much. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. I don't wanna throw my head too much. Last time I did that, I hurt my neck, so. <laughs> wow, that thing is on. Wait, baby, this thing go nowhere. Secure, secure, glueless. What? What y'all came, came up with over there? This is a very secure, soft curls. So far, so good, girl. I was about to dusty wine, but girl, last time I did that, I hurt my neck real bad. We're gonna go back to adding this mousse. I was just, I got distracted for a little bit, okay? Like so. And I'm just gonna add mousse to the ends. I'm trying not to add it so far into the roots because it takes a long time to dry when you do that. So, just adding the mousse to the ends. Oop, I used too much mousse. See, that's what be happening. Now you can just do it like this and finger comb it, but if you want that little extra juicy curl, cause you see what the curls look like now. They're cute, they're all right, but look, 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 look. Linda, hold on. One brush, two brush, couple brushes. Just make sure you, you uh, store your wigs well. These curls will last. And look how pretty. <gasps> oh. Now you can add a little extra something on top, but I like my curls to be juicy, but fluffy. So once this hair dries, it'll be super duper fluffy. I'm in love with them. Now let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the head. Add the mousse and then I'll come back once the hair is dry so we can go ahead and do the baby hairs. Thinking about you doesn't tell me What could you do? Try to 
Okay, y'all, the hair is completely dry. Look how this looks. And baby, it's still glueless. You see that? Still glueless. This is what it looks like, completely applied. This is what the curls look like after they are dry. And oh my God, I'm in love with how this looks. Like it looks amazing. You already know what time it is. It's time for these baby hairs. I said I was gonna do baby hairs and I was like, ah, maybe I'm not, maybe I will, but we are. So they gave us a little peek baby hair brush. We're gonna open this up because y'all know my baby hair brushes is dirty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start with the baby hairs. Let me pull this back. Y'all can see that I'm not tacking down the wig. I'm trying to figure out though, this little piece of lace needs to go. So let me cut this. <sighs> Am I cutting my hair? Push this back. There we go. Okay, so for baby hairs, I'm going to do maybe two or three. I'm not really sure. I'll pull the hair back. Look how good that looks. Oh my God, okay. Let's part out some baby hairs, like some tiny ones. So I'm gonna part out some baby hairs here and then I'm just gonna cut them down like so. I'm gonna take my She Is Bomb Lace Putty, add the gel to it. It's like a I guess it's like a putty, that's like it said, so. And then, and br oh, girl, that was too much gel. Girl, what? Okay, I'm just gonna brush it down and brush it back. And then I'm just gonna brush back the baby hairs right here. Ooh, baby, how good does that look to you? Oh my God. And I'm also gonna do, add some baby hairs for my natural hairs right there on the side. So I think I'm gonna add I'm just gonna use this lace putty. I feel like it should be fine. Usually I like to use the edge control, but I'm just gonna do that with my natural hair. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Do you see this hair? Oh my God, I'm a little bit too bright. Hold on, let me tell It is absolutely stunning. When I tell you it's stunning, and baby, you see this hairline? Wow, <laughs> glueless, babes. It is glueless. Right up in here, glueless, friend. Did any makeup come off? Yeah, completely glueless. I didn't tack nothing down, just put down a couple baby hairs, and you don't know where my hairline starts and where the wig ends. It looks so freaking good. That's my baby hair, and that's the wig's baby hair. This is the lace, the lace stops here, and this is my hair. And then the curls are so soft and bouncy. I mean, come on, the curls look amazing. I mean, I really don't got, I mean, what is there to say? Those are all the pros. It looks amazing, and the fit of the cap is so comfortable because of the, that C-shaped ear tab, it's not bothering my head. I will say the only con I would have is that the lace color, I feel like I needed lace tint for this lace because I can wear this wig glueless, um, but only if I have lace tint. I think I can wear it sprayed down without lace tint, but you, I needed lace tint because of my skin tone. It was just a little bit too light. It was too reflective. It was too obvious, okay? So I did need some lace tint for this, but everything else, hairline looks great. The parting space looks great. The knots are bleached. I mean, really, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna show you all the styles that I can try out on this wig so you can see how versatile this wig actually is. Like it gives 
very much girl you can be a different girl every single day okay y'all let's try out some styles with this wig the first one is gonna be super duper simple and easy baby just shift that thing to the side you got a whole new wig a little side part it looks really really cute and the hairline with the baby hairs is still giving it looks like i just parted my hair on the side and that's it and the lace still looks really really good now next i wanted to do like a half up half down style and I wanted to see how this closure was gonna look with a half up, half down style, and baby, it did not disappoint. I just used a little rubber band, pulled some hair up, fluffed it out, that's it. You can see how defined the curls are, and that hairline is giving, baby. You can see a little bit of the closure at the side. If you leave down more hair, baby, you won't be able to tell. Now, next I decided I wanted to do a little bun at the top, baby. I didn't like it at all. It didn't really look cute to me. So we're gonna go ahead and take that down. We're gonna try something else. I wanted to do a full bun or a full curly puff at the top of my head. And it looked good all up, but of course the closure ends before the ear tab. So once I pull those, those curly cues down, you can't really see the edge, but I could, could have pulled down some more so you couldn't see the end of the closure. But the, cute, the closure still looked good with that. And of course I rolled it up in a bun and that gave very much natural, cute bun. But all the styles look really, really good, but nothing compares to the hair down. One is your fave. Now let's close out this wig. Y'all saw how versatile this wig is. What style do you like the best? Side part, middle part, up, down? Y'all let me know down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all so, so, so much. I will leave a link to this unit down below. There is a sale going on right now, so go ahead and check it out. It's a limited time sale, so. All of the information will be down in the description box below. Also, we have a coupon code because y'all know y'all gotta get some money off, okay? Um, that's everything. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.